Wow. Can I ever be opportuned to ever do this again? I can't help feeling that I haven't done my best for Jesus. I rarely preach the gospel these days. Even the early morning evangelism I normally did, as a baccalaureate, has been pushed to the back burner. My career, nursing, and keeping the home front seem to be choking my usefulness in the kingdom. I've tried to make it work, but can't find a way around it. How I long to be like my boss, always on the field for Christ. I really need someone to help me out. So, your total bill is $75. Okay ma'am. But ma'am, I have something to discuss with you, because you are older than me, even in Christianity. Though, we are friend. What is that? Tell me. I will be glad to hear you. My boss at my place of work, Miss Sarah Sanders loves the Lord, and goes all out doing his service. On regular basis, she visits prisons, orphanages, remand centers, an old people's home with food, fruits and clothing. Each of those times, she ensures she always give them the good news, winning many to Christ. Not too long ago, she began a Bible club with them, where they have the opportunity to study the Bible. She equally preaches the gospel in schools, bus stations, marketplaces, and in her neighborhood. Even one day, I was speeding off for a school run before going to the office when I bump into my boss, preaching the gospel at a bus station. Then I thought it in my mind that, can I ever be opportune to ever do this again? I have once been in your shoes, as a young mother, and knew exactly how it feels. Dear, the Lord understand how busy you are. Notwithstanding, no excuse is tenable when it comes to snatching souls from the jaws of hell. The soul of man is invaluable. They will perish if we don't reach out to them with the saving gospel on time. So, God expects you to place evangelism as a top priority. Even when you are busy discharging your duties as a wife, mother, career woman, and so on. Intentionally map out strategies and time for preaching, and ensure they are feasible to your current reality, as a young mother. Grounded preaching at the bus station on Monday morning, like your boss may not be realistic for you. All the same, you can send short gospel clips to every unsaved person on your contact list. Explore social media like Facebook, WhatsApp, and so on. Pray for souls. Witness Christ to your colleagues and neighbors. Share gospel publications. Participate in organized corporate outreaches, and more. All these are means of reaching out too. In actual fact, I adopted them. They worked for me then, and they are still working. I believe most of them will work for you as well. The Lord will give you an abounding grace. Amen. I'm so grateful. I needed to hear that. I'll never allow a day to go by without telling someone about this Vin Gospel of Jesus. You are welcome. God be with you. The Great Commission is a mandate binding on all Christian, men and women alike. As a Christian, it must be on your daily must-do list, irrespective of your tie schedule. Thanks for your time. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and share. Also drop your comment, and if you've not subscribed, please do so, and turn up the notification bell, so that once we drop new content, YouTube will let you know. Thank you. God bless you. And don't forget that, Jesus loves you.